Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've been with me since day one, welcome back, family. All right, family, I just wanted to jump on here really quickly to share with you two gems, all right, literally, gems, all right? Um, I don't even remember what, I forgot what YouTuber I was watching. Oh Lord, forgive me. Cause I wanted to give this girl a shout out, but I can't remember her. If I remember, I'll put it in the comments below, but she has shared this, um, devotional. These are devotionals. They are super thick and they are rich. When I tell you these are some gems, these are gems. I got both of them. I got the one part one and I got part two. You don't have to get either one. You can get one, you can get two, it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to share this resource, okay? Especially those of you who like devotionals. Um, they came in the mail today, so I wanted to share them before I start jumping into them. And probably next year, I probably will be using this because it's so rich, but let's get into it. So there's two volumes, right? Totally different. This one is not even open. This one still got the plastic on it. I gotta tear this plastic off, but so... I'm a, we're going to look at the second one, but anyway, they're two separate things. They're called, this is called sparkling gem from the Greek. So it has Greek word studies in it. Okay. And this is by Rick Renner. All right. So this one is 365 day Greek word studies for every day of the year to sharpen your understanding of God's word. That's what this one is about. Sharpen your understanding. And this one is about equipping and empowering you for victory every day of the year same author just two different volumes so depending on what you like if you want to deal with victory in your life and then getting empowered you want to get this one if you want to deal with understanding god's word then you want to get this one i need both okay i'm just extra like that so let's deal with this since this one is open we're just going to go with this one I got this one brand new and I got this one used. I got them on Amazon, okay? You can get them used. I got this one used, okay? So here we go. It's a little flap here. Let me see if there's something on the back. Okay, yeah, let's just read this. Let's just read this. Ooh, I'm excited about this book, y'all. It's big and thick. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. It says, unlock the explosive potential of seeing your own life transformed. And Sparkling Gems from the Greek to Rick Renner offers a masterful blend of, oh, poit, I don't know, y'all see that word, personal memories, <laughs> intriguing historical perspective, and insightful observations into the believer's role in this crucial hour. Woven throughout these daily gems, Rick shares approximately 1,000 Greek word studies with teachings that will challenge you to adjust your actions, realign your attitudes, and act on the practical application of truth that are permanent to your own walk with God. Through it all, Rick guides you into a deeper understanding of God's word to strengthen your faith and reignite fresh passion to pursue God's plan for your life. So unlock the explosive life transforming potential within the pages of Sparkling Gem 2. It will stir up your heart each day to pursue the intimate, uncompromising walk with Jesus Christ that is essential for you to stand strong and victorious in your days ahead. And here he is. I think he believe he has a YouTube channel as well. And it just talks about the author here. And here is the ISBN for those of you who want that. You can screenshot it, write it down. Um, I did not pay that much for this Bible. This one I got used. So yeah, look for some used Bibles. Don't always try to get stuff brand new. Look for some used stuff, okay? And it does have a paper, what is this? Cover, but the, the actual book's hardcover looks the same as the cover. Here's what the spine looks like. Look how thick this is. Ooh, sparkling gem. 
volume two. This look brand new. This is used though. You hear me? You don't sleep on the used stuff, y'all. Don't sleep on the used stuff, okay? So let me just put this, I'm probably gonna get rid of this flap, but for right now. So here we go, let's get into it. Love the layout as well. I'm excited, can you tell? Okay, sparkling gem. Then you have um, the title page, okay? You're gonna get your um, copyright page over here. And this was printed in the United States. Let me bring you down so you can see. Printed in the United States of America, all right? Again, here is the ISBN for those of you who was wondering. And it's been out for a while, okay? It's been out for some years now. So you're gonna get you a um, dedication page. He dedicated this to his mother. And then you're gonna get into the table of contents. And the way the table of contents is set up, it's gonna give you every day of the year, all right? It's gonna tell you what the topic is gonna be about, and this one is say, say goodbye to the past and hello to the future. And it's going to give you a, um, a foundational text on what he's talking about or where he got that from. So each one, so you can, you don't have to go day by day because I'll just find something to hear what I'm dealing with at that moment. And then just probably go to that day and deal with it. Right. So just, we just going to run through a couple of these just so you can see some of the titles. Um, very practical to life. It takes determination to follow through on new year resolution. It is time for you to shed a few extra pounds. Who, yes, he, he ain't never lied. Is it time for you to start exercising? Do you really want to get your finances in shape? Do you really want to improve your relationship this year? The power of a daily habit, reading your Bible. Come on, somebody. This is just a few. I'm not going through all of them, but just so you can get an idea. Kick back and take a breather every once in a while. The life-changing impact um, of God's power. Do your best to be at peace with everyone. The Holy Spirit, the great revealer. Abstain from all appearances of evil. Don't give up on your seed. When God hooked my heart, don't render evil for evil. What kind of special vessel are you? And it just goes on and on and on. All these different topics here. And just so you can just read them. I'm not going to read them all off. An overflowing and thankful heart. Just skipping some pages here. No other foundation. On what basis will you be rewarded? A smell of smoke. Fight the good fight of faith. Positioning a troubling heart, a troubled heart. Praying with boldness and confidence. Corrupt communication. And the list goes on and the list goes on. So they give you one of these for every single day of the year, right? So you got pages and pages of these, right? For every single day with scripture. So boom. Okay, so you got that whole index. And then we have um, a page of acknowledgments. Then you're going to get a forward, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see here. You're going to get a preface. And then he just has um, that scripture that says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Ain't that beautiful? And then here we are into the layout. So let's look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, do I want to read all this? I don't know. But anyway, we're just going to run through this really quick just to give you a synopsis. So this is January 1, of course, and it says, good, say goodbye to the past and hello to the future. And of course, it gives you the foundational text here, which is Philippians 3 and 13, which reads, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Boom. So we have our scripture, right? And then it goes into a little story um, here. And you're going to get your word studying this as well. Um, let's just read it. Let's just read it. Okay. It says, on the first day of the year, family and friends are gathered together around the world celebrating the new year holiday. Millions of people are thinking and even talking about changes they need to make 
in their lives and they get started in a brand new year. Unfortunately, this is also a day when people experience deep regret for what they didn't accomplish in the previous year, such as commitments they made to themselves that they didn't keep, promises they made to others that they um, left unfulfilled, or goals they set that they didn't attain, and are disappointed in themselves for a lack of spiritual progress. Then it goes on to say, I have suggestions for you. Rather than live in regret about what you did, let, what, and slow down. I have a suggestion for you. Rather than live in regret about what you didn't do last year, make this day to spend some quality time with the Lord and repent for not doing what you should have done. Then make the decision to stop wallowing in regret about something that is in the past and that you cannot do anything about now. It's time for you to shake off that negative focus of what you didn't do right last year and start thanking God that today offers a new opportunity to do better. Come on, think about it. This new year represents you with a golden opportunity to make some serious changes in your life. Come on somebody, I'm already feeling it. That's why I love to meditate on Philippians 3 and 13. Every year on January 1st, the Apostle Paul gave us sound advice for leaving the past behind and focusing on the future before us. He said, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended that thing. I mean, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Can y'all see? All right. Today, I want to focus on the part of this verse that says, forgetting those things which are behind. The word forgetting. So here is the word study, family. The word forgetting. So this is the word study. All right. It's taken from the Greek word. I'm not going to pronounce it, but you see it, okay? Which is compound of the word this and that. <laughs> When these two words are compounded into one word, as they are in the verse, it forms the Greek word, this word, okay? Which in the King James Version translate as forgetting in Philippians 3.13. However, the first part of this Greek compound word is, you see it? Which is, in this context, denotes a turning, as in turning from one thing to focus on something else. The second part of this compound word is the word, you see it, which comes from the root that describes something that is finished, done with, or obsolete. All right, here we go. When these two words are joined together, they form the word, you see it, which portrays the idea of something you should turn away from and forget. When used in a passive sense, it pictures something to be put aside, deliberately ignored, pur purposefully discarded, and completely forgotten. It denotes something that may have really been true in the past, but no longer applicable. If where you paraphrase this word in today's language, you could say, stop thinking about it, put it out of your mind, put it behind you, wipe it out, and erase it from your memory. Get it out of your system. Quit paying attention to it. Get your eyes off of it. Be oblivious to it and forget about it. Come on. But wait, what Paul was telling you and me to forget about, he said we must forget those things which are behind. Pay close attention to this because what you are about to read is really powerful. The word behind is the Greek word, you see it, which categorically describes something so obsolete that it shouldn't be permanently um, regulated to the back or to the past, abandoned or left behind. This is something in your past that should be left in the past. It is behind you and you are never to turn around to look at focus on it again. In other words, the Greek word, you see it, means leave it behind and never revisit it. Woo, come on. 
It is very interesting that this word mm -hmm, is the same word used in Matthew 16, 23. When Peter tried to interfere with the plan of God after listening to Peter protest, he impended death. Jesus spoke upon the great authority and said, get thee behind me, Satan. Of course, Peter was not Satan, but the devil was speaking through Peter as he had done with people so often throughout history and still does today. But rather than listen to those words, Jesus spoke with firmness and rebuked the devil inspired insinuation and idea that were being spoken through Peter's lips. Come on, come on. When Jesus said, get behind thee, get behind me, the word behind in the same Greek word, you see it, that Paul used in Philippians 3.13, when he told us to forget the past, this means we were we are hassled harassed or tormented about past failures it may not be just your memory speaking to you it could be satan trying to harass you this is especially true if you have already sought forgiveness and this mental assault on assault continues the devil could be trying to drag you back into regret over past things that are done with over and not changeable come on in such moments, you must do as Jesus did when he rebuked the devil. You must speak with bold authority. I love this application. In Jesus' name, speak to those thoughts like they are enemies sent from the devil to drag you down into depression and defeat. Don't listen to them. If you do, the devil will hound you relentlessly with thoughts of failure. And little by little, you'll find yourself becoming trapped in the memories of past disappointments. Don't let that happen. It's time for you to speak out loud and remind the devil that those failures and negative memories are in the past. Come on. They are under the blood of Jesus and therefore no longer applicable. Resist those thoughts of failure just like you would resist the devil. Command them to get behind you and to stay away forever in Jesus name. You better say it. Come on, Renner. Make the decision today that you're finished with fixing your mind on things that are in the past, things that you have repented about that have been e erased by the blood of Jesus and that you can't do anything about them now. You have the power right now to turn away from yesterday. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all can't tell me this ain't good. Ooh, the power of yesterday and start focusing on what is in front of you. Yesterday is done is a done deal. The clock cannot be turned back. Living in regret will only keep you from moving forward into the future. Maybe you made a commitment to lose weight last year and now you're upset about you. Uh, maybe you're upset about you failed to do it. If so, it's time to stop moaning about the weight you didn't lose last year and to become willing to do whatever you must do to lose weight this year. Maybe you promised yourself that you were going to start exercising regularly and get in better shape last year, but you didn't do it. What does it profit to sit around and condemn yourself about what you didn't do? Shake off the condemnation. This is a new year and a new opportunity. Come on, somebody. Perhaps you didn't exercise enough discipline to get your finances into better shape last year if so repent for being irresponsible and then stop fretting about the year's failures today represents a new opportunity this is a new year and a new opportunity to get victory in this area of your life if all you've been thinking about are the promises you made to yourself that you've broken it's time for you to say goodbye to the failed commitments and personal disappointment in your past leave all those things behind you and say hello to the fabulous future that lies before you today is the first day of the new year a brand new start and a new opportunity for you to repent from past failures this is your opportunity to say goodbye to the past and hello to the future this is your golden moment to begin reaching forth to the wonderful possibilities that lies before you an impression and an interpretive translation of philippians 3:13 could read hopefully y'all can see this and it reads it's time for you to turn loose of the past. You need to put it aside, deliberately ignoring and purposefully disregarding what happened yesterday. The past is old and obsolete. 
So why fixate on it any longer? Stop turning around to reflect on the past. You need to get it out of your system. Put it behind you forever and purposefully forget about it. Mm, mm, mm. If you're represented, if you're, if you're repentant for past failures, it's time for you to turn them loose and let them go. Since Jesus has forgotten, since Jesus has forgiven you, you should quick, you should quit looking backwards. It's that's right. You can put the past behind you and never revisit it again. Come on. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting fired up. Okay. If you need to repent for past failures, then repent. But after you sincerely repent, it's time for you to quit fixating on what you failed to do last year. Thank God for repentance and cleansing. Now it's time for you to start thanking God that he has given you a new year filled with new opportunities to do better than you've done in the past 12 months. He has given you the gift of a new year. So reach forward to achieve those dreams and longings that you've put off again and again. Throw open your arms of faith and embrace the rich future Jesus has waiting for you as you follow him step by step in the days ahead. Come on, somebody. And then you come over here. You're going to get my prayer for the day. And it says, Father, I repent for not doing what I should have done last year. And I receive your forgiveness. I thank you for the new year and for the new opportunity it presents for me to make serious changes in my life. You are the God who makes all things new. I yield to you your power at work in me as I deliberately choose to do your will and to walk in your ways with diligent obedience. Holy Spirit, I ask for and receive your help to fulfill the will of God for my life. My past is not my prophecy of my future. Today, I make the decision to put aside memories of past failures and by faith, I reach out to the future you have planned for me. I pray this in Jesus name. Come on. Then it gives you my confession for the day. Come on, y'all can't tell me this devotion ain't good. I confess that I am not a failure and that my past is not my prophecy of my future. Even though I have not done as well as I should have done in the past, God's spirit is in me, will in enable me to do better from this point forward. I'm willing to make whatever changes I must make. I will alter my lifestyle. I will fix things in my life that are messed up. I will do whatever I require to move forward into the fabulous future God has awaiting for me. From this moment on, I will run this race with my eyes fixed on the goal before me. I am committed, determined, and willing to pay any price to obtain full and complete victory in my life. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Come on, y'all. Quit playing. And then down here, you're going to get questions for your for you to consider which basically is application which i love and number one says as you begin this new year have you taken time to yet to make a list of things you would like to accomplish in the next 12 months if not i recommend that you take some time to pray and seek the lord regarding what he wants you to do want you to achieve, I'm sorry, in your life this year. Afterwards, write those goals down and keep a list in a place where you can read it regularly and pray over it. Number two, if you fail to accomplish important tasks or goals due to a lack of commitment last year, have you taken time to repent before the Lord? It's important for you to do this so you can clean the slate and start this new year with the, with the right heart before God. Why not take the time today to get honest before the Lord and ask him to forgive you for any past failures? Number three, are there any changes you need to make, such as toxic relationships or environments you need to remove from your life so you can fulfill, come on, what God has given you as goals for this new year? What are those changes come on so you got some application you got work to do and then it just goes on to day two so just i just gave you a full read of a day one and you can already imagine how this whole book is gonna get down okay so this is basically how it sets up it's day by day or you can go by topic by topic and each single every single one you're going to get a, a um a prayer for the day, a confession for the day, and you're going to get your questions to consider. So this is the basically the layout for every single day of the year. 
And then when you get to the back, okay, whoo, you're going to get um, a Greek index and an English index. All right. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm on the right one first. And then, um, then this video is going to be done. I just wanted to share because I just thought this was awesome. So here you're going to have an index of Greek words used in sparkling gems from the Greek too. And then here it is. This is the English index. And that first word <clears throat> they have, um, it's going in alphabetical order. So it's going to say, so this is, oh, these are all the word studies. Okay. So you're going to get um, a moment and it gives you the Greek word and what page is on, right? Abounded is going to give you the Greek word and what page is on. So if you just want to just go through the words first, if you just want to specifically do a word study, you can come back here, find the word, go to the page and read the, um, read the devotion to get that study out of that word. All right, so that's what you got here. And then you're gonna have your Greek index. All right, so you're gonna get the Greek word, then you're gonna get it in English, and again, it's gonna give you the pages that you can find it on. All right, so that's basically how this book goes. I hope this was helpful to you all because, man, I told you I needed to get both because I'm extra like that. You don't gotta get neither one. I'm just sharing a resource, okay? And then you're also gonna get a scripture index a scripture index bold font equals main text regular font equals secondary reference so then you got your all your um scripture references here so it's saying in genesis 7 um 11 you can find that scripture on page 776 and it just gives you a whole layout of the scripture index as well very helpful very helpful let's see what else we got back here i'm almost done y'all I just want to share okay then you're going to get a bibliography all right you're going to get study reference um book list so here are some um some helps that you can get all right then again it tells you about the author um the contact to his ministry and then all the books that he has written all right. Woo. And then here is Sparkling Gems from the Greek One. Who Stole Cinderella? And then A Light in the Darkness. No Room for Compromise. And then these are just awesome books back here. Okay. Dress to Kill. These are all his books. All right. So you see that. And that's pretty much it. And then you get some study note paper back here that you can write some study notes on. Very helpful. Get a few pages of that. Yeah, a few pages. Okay, I haven't counted them, but it's 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 a, it's, a, it's a little something something. If you don't have your own journal, you can just put your notes right here in the book. All right, so that's it, family. All right. So I just wanted to share this wonderful resource. Um, I love it. I love the way that it read. It was easy to read, easy to understand. And again, there are two volumes. There is this one dealing with um, victory every day of the year. That's volume two. And then value one laid out the exact same way. And this one is dealing with sharpening your understanding of God's word. Okay. So yeah, that's it, fam. That's it. And so hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Again, I got these on Amazon. I got this one brand new and I got this one used. But as you can see, it looked brand new. No markings or anything. So um, hope you enjoyed this. If you have this book or heard about it, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you use it? Um, so this is an excellent study. Um, easy study. Do your daily read. Hit up one of these devotions and you are good to go. You got your word study. You got some encouraging. This is good. This is good. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm, I'm done. All right. Pray for me as I pray for you. And I will see you all on the next one. Make sure you put on your post notification bell so you're notified next time I drop a video. Bye-bye. Shalom.